Today I am going to discuss synthesis, reactivity, aromatic character and importance of pyrazine. Pyrazine is a six-membered heterocyclic compound of diazine type derived from benzene by replacement of 2CH group by two nitrogens at first and fourth position. In the previous video lecture, I discussed how diazines are derived from benzene by replacement of 2CH group by 2 nitrogen atom. And this diazine has three isomeric form 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4. So, in the previous lecture, I discussed 1, 3 isomer that is pyrimidines. Today, I am going to discuss 1, 4 isomer that is pyrazine. So, if you look at the natural abundance of pyrazine and if it is compared with the pyridine, it is somewhat less. So, now we will see what are, what are the naturally occurring pyrazines. Pyrazine occurs naturally but not in appreciable amount and following are the naturally occurring compounds with pyrazine ring system. So, these are the uh, important naturally occurring compounds which contain pyrazine ring. So, tyridine is present in terrains and plavins which have diverse biological application. Phenazine, it is a dibenzo annulated pyrazine which is uh, a parent diester for many dyes like safranin which is used in biological field. And if you come for folic acid, it is synthetic form of folate which is naturally occurring B vitamin and which is useful for the synthesis of DNA and other genetic material. Then we will see the aromatic character of pyrazine. Pyrazine belongs to category of phi deficient ring system which is similar to pyridine because due to presence of this electronegative nitrogen atom so what it is going to induce negative inductive effect or, as well as electron withdrawing effect so hence this pyrazine will come under the category of phi deficient ring system so if you see the aromatic nature it is aromatic and it is going to obey 4n plus 2 pi electron that is Huckel's rule and lone pair which are present on the sp2 hybridized nitrogen are not involved in the resonance so they are perpendicular to the p orbitals so hence they are not involved in the resonance so due to presence of this two lone pair of electrons it is going to act as weak base so pyrazine is a very very weak base compared to pyridine and even if you compare with the pyrimidine so it is a very weak base due to inductive effect as well as electron withdrawing effect of the nitrogen atom so this is the pk value so if you compare the pk value of pyridine with pyrazine pyrazine is having only pk value of 0.6 whereas pyridine it is having 5.2 so hence pyrazine is a very weak base and if you come for the resonance structures pyrazine has the following resonance contributors and positive charge will be placed on second third fifth and sixth position carbons so these are the possible resonance structures so there is two more resonance structures are possible but they are not that much stable because in those resonance structures the positive charge will be placed on the nitrogen so it is not favorable so hence these are the major resonance contributors so these two resonance are from this nitrogen and these two these two resonance contributors from the second nitrogen so you cannot differentiate because it is having symmetric in nature so it is uh, pyrazine ring is symmetric in nature so we cannot distinguish so there are four resonance contributors and due to this resonance the positive charge will be placed on second 
third, fifth, sixth carbon atoms. So, so this is an indication of pi deficiency. Means it is going to place positive charge on the ring. So due to this, it is a pi deficient, and it is a very weak base because of this withdrawing nature of the nitrogen atom. So if you come for the synthesis, how this pyrazine heterocycle is synthesized. The important method for the pyrazine derivative preparation is from alpha nitroso or alpha nitro or alpha azido ketones by chemoselective reduction followed by spontaneous dimerization and subsequent oxidation leads to the formation of pyrazine derivative. So these are the starting material any of this starting material like alpha nitroso, alpha nitro or alpha azido ketones which upon chemoselective oxidation means here carbonyl group is also present so you need to use a reagent which is going to selectively reduce aside nitro nitroso not this carbonyl group one such reagent is zinc zinc dust over acetic acid so it is going to chemoselectively it is going to reduce nitroso nitro aside to amine so once this alpha amino ketone is formed so it is uh, spontaneously it is going to react with one more molecule of alpha amino ketones so that step is called dimerization so where there will be loss of water molecule so it is going to form a dihydro derivative so this dihydro derivative of pyrazine upon oxidation so oxidation means here air oxidation is possible so it will undergo air oxidation to give pyrazine derivative so this is the uh, important method of preparation of pyrazine that is from alpha nitroso nitro azide ketone by chemoselective reduction followed by spontaneous dimerization and subsequent oxidation leads to formation of pyrazine derivative next one more method is from condensation reaction of alpha diketone with 1 2 diamino alkanes and followed by oxidation in presence of copper chromate at 300 degrees centigrade leads to the formation of pyrazine derivative so this is 1 2 diketone so which is upon condensation reaction with 1 2 diamino alkane so there will be condensation so there will be loss of water molecule so it is going to form dihydro derivative of pyrazine so this dihydro derivative of pyrazine in presence of copper chromate at 300 degree centigrade leads to the formation of pyrazine derivative so this is by using diketo with 1 2 diamino alkanes so next so this is somewhat convenient method of preparation of pyrazine so that is from epoxide ring opening reaction with ethylene diamine followed by oxidation leads to the formation of pyrazine derivative so if you take epoxide or oxyrane upon reaction with ethylene diamine so there will be ring opening reaction that is it is going to follow sn2 type of reaction so it is going to open and there will be loss of water molecule so it is going to form piperazine so this piperazine upon oxidation it is going to form pyrazine so this is somewhat a convenient method because this epoxide ethylene diamine all are available so you can prepare easily pyrazine next is intermolecular deamino cyclization of ethylene diamine followed by dehydrogenation over copper chromate catalyst gives pyrazine so in the previous step also we got a pyrazine here also the same and we are going to get pyrazine unsubstituted pyrazine so how we are going to get unsubstituted uh, pyrazine from intermolecular deamino cyclization of ethylene diamine 
So two molecules of ethylene diamine will react through deamination reaction. So there will be loss of ammonia. So it is going to form piperazine. So once piperazine formed, so series of dehydrogenation steps will be followed to get pyrazine. So piperazine first it will undergo dehydrogenation to form tetrahydropyrazine. So this tetrahydropyrazine once again it will undergo dehydrogenation to give dihydropyrazine. So this dihydropyrazine will undergo further dehydrogenation to give pyrazine and it is then catalyzed by copper chromate catalyst and this reaction it will take place at higher temperature. So these are the important reactions so from which we are going to get pyrazine so that is from alpha nitroso alpha nitro alpha acetoketone by chemoselective reduction followed by spontaneous dimerization and subsequent oxidation other is diketone on condensation with 1 to diamino alkane followed by oxidation it is going to give pyrazine and convenient method is epoxide ring opening reaction with ethylene diamine it is going to form piperazine and further oxidation it is going to lead to the formation of pyrazine and last is intermolecular deamino cyclization of ethylene diamine followed by dehydrogenation reactions will give pyrazine so these are the important methods of preparation of pyrazine so now it's time to see the reactions of pyrazine as already in the previous lecture discussed, diazines will undergo reaction at nitrogen as well as carbon, which is similar to pyridine. So, if you come for electrophilic addition reaction, like protonation and alkylation occurs at the ring nitrogen, whereas electrophilic substitution reaction, here also it is less facile because of decreased basicity. And under favorable conditions, this reaction are positive and pyrazines will also show nucleophilic substitution reaction. So now we will see one by one the reactions. First we will see the reactions at nitrogen. So if you come for the reaction at nitrogen, so because of presence of lone pair of electron on the nitrogen, so it will undergo electrophilic addition reaction. With electrophiles only at one nitrogen under drastic conditions only is going to react with the electrophile with both the nitrogens so this electrophilic addition re results in the formation of pyrazinium salt and whatever the pyrazinium salt it is going to form they are both are aromatic pyrazine as well as pyrazinium salt both are aromatic in nature so it is pretty similar to pyrimidine pyridine so this is the reaction so lone pair on uh, lone pair of electrons present on the nitrogen reacts with electrophile so it is going to form pyrazinium salt so if you come for the example protonation pyrazine nitrogen form mono quaternary salt with mild acid and diquaternary salts with strong acids. So pyrazine, if it is reacted or if it is treated with mild acid, it is going to form mono quaternary salt. If there is a strong acid is present, then it is going to form di quaternary salt. So these are the reactions which are which is common for diazines. So if you come for alkylation, pyrazine reacts with alkyl halide to give mono quaternary salt but this salt is not stable so it is highly unstable so if you want to prepare mono quaternary salt of pyrazine so you need to maintain temperature below 40 degree if you do the reaction below 40 degree centigrade then there is chance of getting mono quaternary salt of alkyl halide so alkyl halide it is going to react with the pyrazine and it is going to form mono quaternary salt only below 40 degree centigrade because 
this monoquaternary salts are highly unstable and there is no question of further alkylation because monoquaternary salt is going to form at a lower temperature so there is no question of further reaction with the alkyl halide so if you come for the reaction set carbon ring carbon so if you want to do electrophilic substitution reaction at carbon it is not favorable for you because it is having uh, lesser basicity it is having pka value of around 0.6 so it is not in a position to react but there is a favorable condition so under which we can do electrophilic substitution reaction at carbon so that favorable condition is presence of electron donating group pyrazine will react with the electron so if we take 2 methyl pyrazine then we can do halogenation reaction so that halogen will be get substituted so this is the favorable condition that is presence of electron donating group so if the electron donating group is present then it is going to react or else it is not possible for pyrazine to undergo electrophilic substitution reaction at carbon because of decreased basicity even it is lesser than pyrimidine so next is nucleophilic substitution reactions so pyrazines reacts with sodium amide in liquid ammonia and undergo chichibabin reaction which is similar to pyridine and it is going to form two amino pyrazine so pyrazine if it is reacted with sodium amide in liquid ammonia it is going to undergo chichibabin reaction that is substitution of hydride ion so there will be hydride ion will be removed and in that place amino group will be get substituted so that is chichibabin reaction so pyrazine will undergo chichibabin reaction in presence of sodium amide in liquid ammonia next is if alkyl pyrazine reacts with the sodium amide in liquid ammonia then due to acidic nature of this methyl proton so it will not undergo chichibabin reaction instead of chichibabin reaction it is going to form carbanion so this carbanion formed will undergo further reaction that is nucleophilic substitution reaction with different substrate like alkyl halide or it may react with ester so it is going to form substituted product so if it is going to react with alkyl halide it is going to form alkyl substituted pyrazine so if it is reacted with ester it is going to form substituted derivatives so these are the important reactions since pyrazine is not of uh, that much important so there are few reactions which you can see so these are the reactions at carbon so electrophilic substitution reaction it is very difficult so only the favorable condition is if the electron donating groups are present then it is going to react with the electrophile or else it is not going to react reason already it has been quoted then pyrazine has capability of showing a uh, capability of undergoing chichibabin reaction that is pyrazine on treatment with soda amide in liquid ammonia it is going to form two amino pyrazine so if there is any alkyl substituent present on the pyrazine then it is going to react with the sodium amide in liquid ammonia and it is going to form anion intermediate it is not going to undergo chichibabin reaction and further it is going to react with different substrate like alkyl halides and ester to form substituted products corresponding substituted products so this is regarding the synthesis reactivity aromatic character and importance of pyrazine thank you